This is Dr. Garcia. She is doing a checkup of her patient, Eva. Eva is worried because a young, apparently healthy friend of hers suffered a myocardial infarction one week ago. Dr. Garcia wants to assess Eva's probability to encounter cardiovascular problems in the future. Therefore, she wants to estimate Eva's risk factors. Eva is a woman 45 years old. She smokes regularly. Her blood pressure is borderline elevated. Her total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol are slightly elevated. Her weight is normal. Her heart and kidneys seem okay, as ECG and urine albumin excretion indicate. According to usual risk tables, her cardiovascular risk is low. However, Dr. Garcia knows that there is another risk factor to be taken into account, vascular aging. The arterial system, indeed, should be considered as an organ itself, just like the heart, kidneys and the brain. Like these organs, it is subject to accelerated biological aging and target organ damage. This is associated with cardiovascular risk, independent from other risk factors, and in Eva's case, her arteries are older than her chronological age. This means that their walls are stiffer and less elastic compared to younger arteries. Dr. Garcia discovers Eva's condition as she measures her pulse wave velocity from the carotid artery to the femoral artery, which is one available measure of vascular aging. The structure and stiffness of the arterial wall determine the speed at which the pressure wave proceeds. Therefore, the stiffer the arteries are, the higher is the pulse wave velocity. Dr. Garcia recommends Eva to be more active, quit smoking and optimize her diet. She also recommends to include vascular measures of arterial stiffness into a regular medical follow-up. And now that Eva's risk of cardiovascular diseases has been assessed, she can be more aware of her choices and Dr. Garcia can follow her health more accurately.